Hey everybody, it's Michael from Wahoo Comics and I am super excited because I just broke one of my comic collecting curses. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that something I'm trying to do in the long term is to put together a full run of The Amazing Spider-Man. And so over the past year, I've been trying to pick up some of the bigger keys, but there's been one key that I just seem to be cursed about because three times over the past year I found someone selling this book online and I've reached out to them and we've negotiated a price and come to an agreement and when it's come time for me to send them payment they have just totally ghosted me three times three times I've tried to buy this book and have reached a deal and it's fallen through and so I've just been wondering, well, am, am I cursed when it comes to this book? Am I never going to have a copy? Is my goal done for? But then a couple of weeks ago, I found someone else looking to sell a copy of this book. And so I reached out to the seller, got some pictures, and we talked about a price, came to an agreement, and so for the first time, I actually sent them money. But then I started freaking out. What, what, yeah, I'm cursed about this book, right? Am, am I getting scammed? Maybe I sent this money out and this book's never gonna come. And so then there was the waiting game at, at home, wondering, is this book ever gonna arrive? Uh, checking my mail every day, is, is it here? And finally, it got here. And so it's this one, Amazing Spider-Man, number 238, which of course contains the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. And so I am super excited to add this book to my collection, one of the biggest Copper Age keys in this amazing Spider-Man run. And uh, something else interesting, you know, I've, I've talked about before, when I, one of the reasons I enjoy buying from private collectors uh, versus just off eBay or you know, an LCS is because I enjoy hearing from them how their collection got put together. And uh, so I found out from this collector, just, I think this is just interesting, uh, that she actually had inherited a massive collection from her husband. And uh, he, I, he had at one time bought the inventory of a comic book store that went out of business. And so he's had tons of comics and so Right now she has three 12 by 12 by 12 uh, storage units that are just filled with comics. And she said she also has some at her home and at her dad's home. So th just this massive collection. And there's a lot of cool stuff in it. And you know, she's working her way through it. And so I definitely hope to buy many more books from her in the coming weeks or months or however long it takes. Uh, but even if I don't, uh, I'm happy that I at least picked up this one, but certainly uh, look forward to, to picking up more. And so like I always uh, do, especially the first time I bought from a seller like that, I'm gonna send this video to them. And so I just wanna say thank you for helping me put this book into my collection. Uh, and something else just, interesting but it's much more you know sad the seller mentioned that uh you know there are some people who broke in uh to where these comics were stored after her husband passed she's like man that's just terrible and i think uh at some point she mentioned like you know where it was stored the ceiling caved in or something like that and damaged some of the comics and you know they had to, some of them had to be thrown away and man it's, it weren't even my comics and that that breaks my heart and uh, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't understand why people would do things like that, but uh, um, despite that, still some really cool comics that are there in that collection. And uh, but I also just imagine, you know, what, you know, what got lost? What uh, did the did the cave in end, or what did people steal? Um, yeah, never know. Uh, but even with that, there are still just tons of, of cool books that are a part of that collection. And so again, hopefully I'll pick up uh, several more books in the coming weeks. And that's the only book that I got from this seller at this time. Uh, but I did wanna show off a few other books that I've picked up and all these are from 
uh, one seller. Uh, so first of all, New Mutants Annual Number Two, which contains the first appearance of Psylocke. And this book also has a lot of personal significance to me uh, because last year when I uh, started getting you know serious about collecting again, I went back to my parents' home and was pulling out all the valuable books from my childhood collection. And I know that I had a copy of this. I, I traded for it. I remember who I traded it with, but I could not find this book. And I, I found all the other big books that I knew that I had, but I could not find this one. And so, yeah, even though it's not, it's not like a crazy expensive book, but yeah, it, it, it's a valuable book. Uh, it's a key of a cool X-Men character. And so I've just been kicking myself since then, wondering where is that book at? And so even though I wish I found my original copy, and maybe one day it'll turn up, uh, I'm still glad uh, to pick up this copy. Of course, you know, picking up first appearances of popular X-Men are always great things to do as investments. Uh, and stick on the New Mutants theme, I also got New Mutants number 45 uh, from this collector. And uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm collecting all these 25th anniversary uh, covers. And so I didn't have this one, and so super glad to have it. I also picked up Marvel Team Up number 95, which contains the first appearance of Mockingbird, a really cool character. And actually not the first appearance of the person, so Bobby Morris is you know, the, the identity of, of Mockingbird. And she showed up in the 70s in Astonishing Tales number four, I think, but she became Mockingbird in this issue. And you know, something I've mentioned not too long ago is that the recent Hawkeye Disney Plus show hinted that his wife, that Hawkeye's wife in the MCU, actually is Mockingbird, uh, but kind of in a witness protection program. And I am really hoping that comes to fruition. First of all, because I think it's a cool character, but second, that would just be like a really cool twist. You know, this, you know, kind of random wife that Clint Barton has had in the MCU that has no place in the comics. All of a sudden we found out, oh, actually it's just been Mockingbird the whole time. So I hope that happens. Uh, and two more books. I picked up a few more, but uh, some of them are, just, are books I've shown off before. They're like my second and third copies. So, so ones that I didn't have, uh, uh, a couple Batman keys, Batman number 404, uh, which is the first issue of the year one storyline by Frank Miller. It has this really cool cover. Also contains the first appearance of Holly Robinson. Uh, and I'd eventually like to get this whole year one uh, storyline, but I'm glad to have gotten uh, the first of that. And then also uh, Detective Comics uh, 575, uh, which contains the first appearance of the second Reaper, uh, but I don't know really anything about that character. So that's not the reason I got it. I got it because it's got this, what I think, and I think a lot of people think this is pretty cool, a sweet Batman Batman cover. And so this is a cover buy for me, one I've been looking for. And it's actually part one of the year two storyline. And I would also like to get all of those issues especially because at least the next two, I think, are Todd McFarlane covers, which I collect. Um, so glad to pick that one up. Um, and uh, yeah, those are some of the books I've recently picked up. Uh, I'm curious for you, uh, like I mentioned, obviously I felt cursed when it came to Amazing Spider-Man 238. Are there any books that you feel like you're cursed in getting? One that, man, you've been targeting, you've been hunting, and either you just haven't been able to find it anywhere, or you've had a deal fall through for it, or yes, somebody saw it in the bin right before you did, but it just seems like, man, am I ever gonna get this book, but, but you really want it. Uh, comment below and let me know what that is, or of course, comment about anything else uh, when, it, when it comes to comics. Uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would consider doing so, helping us continue to grow, uh, like the video, all those things that help the channel. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, I enjoyed it and look forward to the next one.